Hi everyone, welcome to Mr. Canisius. My name is Zoe Majori. And I'm Christian Cavalieri, and we're your RHA co-chairs. Before we start the show, we just want to say a few thank yous to everyone who made this possible, including Sam Bobby, Jenna Cochran, Matt Mulville, Rich Kennedy, of course the Dance Griffs, the eboard members, and everyone else who made this possible. <laughs> All right, now let's introduce our judges. All right, so let's make some noise for Professor O'Neill. <laughs> Dr. Rebus. <laughs> Mr. Cochin. <laughs> Dr. Moscow. <laughs> and last but not least, Dr. Barker. <laughs> Now I have one question for everybody. Who's ready for Mr. Kanisha's 2016? <laughs> now, put your hands together for our hosts for the evening, Roddy Revis and Sydney Perkins. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Mr. Kanisha's 2016, the final round. Let's okay. get right into the show. Okay, Ronnie, who's up next? We got first Connor Shea as Mr. Showstopper. Let's hear it! All right, Sydney, who do we got next? Up next is Michael! That's good! I'm the man, I'm the 
the man, I'm the man. Yes, I am, yes, I am, yes, I am. I'm the man, I'm the man, I'm the man. My one solution is my queen, cause she stays strong Yeah, yeah, she is always in my corner, right there when I wanna All these other girls are tempting, but I'm empty when you're gone And they say, do you need me? Do you think I'm pretty? Do I make you feel like cheating? I'm like, no, not really, cause oh, I think that I found myself a cheerleader Judges, is it going good so far? Yeah? They did all right. No vocal? No? <laughs> no? I mean, you, sir. All the time. Uh, yeah, your mics work. Yeah? Oh, okay. How'd you feel? <laughs> I think it looks great. Awesome. Thank you so much. Okay. So, as you guys walked in, you received a Mr. Congeniality ballot. This is so, you got right there. That's so you can vote for your favorite player at the end of the show. There's going to be five matches in total. Yeah. And what are those matches, Rodney? We have intro. Talent, lip syncing, Q and A, and the last round will be what? Lip syncing, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so our first round is introductions. Before each round, you'll be introduced to a rubric which the judges will be basing their performances off of. The intros will be based on level of originality and talent. Our first one is who, Ronnie? We have Mr. Showstopper. Oh, yes. Yes, thank you. Okay, Mrs. Showstopper, come to the stage. First step, good solid warm up. <laughs> Second step, lots and lots of push ups. We show stopping, we show show stopping. Done. Third step, benching. We show stopping, we show show and of course, no workout is complete without lots of crunches. Done. And of course, the most important thing out of all of this is cardio. Whoa, Connor, 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 man. Do you know what time it is? Uh, it's like seven o'clock. Why? Dude, you're gonna be late for Mr. Kanishas. <laughs> <laughs> 
Now that was some solid cardio. Hi, I'm Connor Shea, formerly known as Mr. Singin' and Bring It, now known as Mr. Showstopper. So let's do it! He definitely brought the energy, right? Yes. Definitely. Who's next, Ronnie? We got Mr. Manimal as Mike Hart. Let's get it. Okay, okay, looking fresh, feeling good. Got my blue and gold on. And uh, maybe it's time to hit the gym before I head out tonight, though. Let's head over. Oh, shoot. That's Connor Shaybird. Look at that wingspan. <laughs> no way I can compete. I gotta go somewhere else. All right, that was a good workout. Mm. Oh, got a car roll over before hitting the quad. Uh, okay, sugar rush, sugar rush. Gotta shake it off. Just jittery about meeting some ladybirds. Okay, yeah, I'll show them this. Do a little two-step. And jazz hands, yeah. Mm, they'll like that. Okay, I think I'm ready. Ooh, hey, how you doing? I'm just trying to get to class. Hey, baby, come on. You down for a little nest flicks and chill? <laughs> get it? Like a nest, Netflix, you know? Ew, you're disgusting. Wait, wait, I came on too strong. I mean, look at this plumage, come on. Yeah, uh, get lost, creep, or I'm calling public safety. Okay, okay uh, call me, or come see me at Mr. Canisius. Uh, it'll be cool. <laughs> okay, bye. For creep. Hey folks, is this on? Yeah, we good? Okay. Uh, hey, I'm Mike, uh, aka Mr. Manimal, a senior animal behavior major here at Canisius, and uh, everybody ready? Yeah? All right, we have an awesome night planned. Uh, we're gonna squeeze every cent out of those two dollars paid, and I'm just really looking forward to it, so thanks for coming. Also, those masks of my face are horrifying. Thank you. <laughs> He's definitely gonna bring on his wild side tonight. Y'all best to get ready. Okay, okay. All right. Up next, I'm very proud to announce the first female contestant ever to Mr. Kanishis, Mr. First Lady, Paula Urubura. Let's hear it, okay? Let's hear it. My name is Paula Rubarak, and I approve this message. <laughs> <laughs> it's time that the king's crown goes to a queen. Thank you. Is it time, Canisius? Is it time for a female, Mr. Canisius? Okay. Up next to the stage is... Mr. S.P. Beyonce. <laughs> it is, sorry, that's actually Mr. Guitar Hero. Let's hear it for Andrew. It, let's hear it for Andrew! He saved a baby polar bear 
from a melting ice cap, who is now the face of your favorite soft drink beverage, Coca-Cola. He climbed the highest peaks of Yugoslavia while nursing a homeless goat as the starting quarterback for your Canisius College Intramural Division I football team. He embodies impeccable strength, godlike beard growing skills, and unnerved determination. Representing C Block and the best band in the land, he is Mr. Gattario. Wow. Hello. coming out to the show tonight. It's going to be a great show. We, we put in a lot of work. I'm glad you guys are here. I'd also like to thank my parents. Uh, 21 years and nine months ago, you guys made this awesome decision, this life-changing decision to have me, have me as your favorite child. And if it wasn't for you guys, I would not be here tonight. So thank you. And thank you guys for coming out tonight. Enjoy the show. y'all energy up in this house, especially up in the balcony, y'all wild cats. Definitely. Okay. Up next, finally, is Mr. SPB Yonsei. <laughs> Let's go. Feel on myself. I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling my, feeling myself. I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling my, feeling my, feeling myself. I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling my, feeling myself. I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling my, feeling myself. I'm feeling my, feeling myself. I'm feeling Hey everyone, thank you so much for coming out. My name is Lee Locklear, also known as Mr. SP Beyonce. Love you too, girl. Um, as you can see, I'm representing SPB, but deep, deep down inside, I'm really representing Queen B. Beyonce. All right, thank you guys for coming out. It's going to be a great show. I think everyone has a soft spot for Beyonce. Am I right? Who, by a show of hands, who here loves Beyonce? Wow. Okay, good. All right, up next is who, Ronnie? We have Mr. Renaissance Man. Okay, let's hear it for Mr. Renaissance Man. Canisius, I have a question for you all. What does it mean to be the man that is unstoppable? Every soul that comes to earth with a leg or two at birth must wrestle his opponent, knowing it's not what is, but what that can be that measures worth. Make it hard, make it possible. And you pain, I will not complain. My spirit is unconquerable. Fearless, I will face each foe, for I know I am capable. I don't care what's probable. Through blood, sweat, and tears, I tell you this. <laughs> Trust me, I am unstoppable. Hello, everybody. I am Mr. Renaissance Man, AKA the Chosen One, here to give you all a good show. I'm here to do this to an ode to my friends who taught me so much while I came here. This is to all you who gave me something that was worth. I wouldn't be Mr. Renaissance Man without you. So everybody, thanks for coming out and enjoy the show. I kid you not when I say the talent in this bunch is incredible. From dancing to hip hop to singing to rapping, you're in for a great show. He flipped on the stage. He flipped on the stage. On okay. my stage. Oh. Hey. On right. my stage. All right. Up next is Mr. Rap. How are we tonight, Kanisha? 
My name's Jacob, AKA Mr. Rapunzel. I'm a sophomore, which means I'm the baby of the group, hence this onesie that I'm wearing. But I'm also wearing it because I have the mentality of a 10 year old, so thank you. My favorite hobbies include impromptu modeling, wanting to be Lana Del Rey, and growing out my hair. Thank you. When I grow up, I want to either be a part of corporate America, become a human Ken doll, or maybe even become a rocket scientist. <laughs> I'm an Aries, uh, my favorite color is denim, and oh, oh, I gotta go before my mom slash kidnapper finds out I left my room. We got a great show for you tonight, guys. I'll see you at the top of the tower. <laughs> What'd you guys think of those intros? Pretty good, right? How about you judges? So far, the intro's looking good, looking creative. Are you getting a feel of the people? Getting a feel. Dr. Mazda! <laughs> Doing great, thank you. Okay. Yes, you guys got Let's your spirit. Let's ask some audience questions. Who wants to be asked a question? Way in the back, let's Way get it. Back. Vance, I see you, Vance. All right, Vance, this is the question, all right? I want you to tell me who's your favorite and why, okay? You're on the spot. I am here to support Mr. Rapunzel. I think he's got it, he's got it. He's fierce, he slays, and I'm looking forward to his talents tonight. All right, Sid, who else is asking questions? Who All right, else? Who, who from up here wants to be asked a question? Let's see, let's see. Okay, you, Megan, you look like you don't want to be asked, so I'm gonna ask you. <laughs> All right, so who, what is your, have you been to Mr. Kenesha's before? I have. What is your favorite Mr. Kenesha's moment? Hmm. <laughs> um, I like the lip singing part. Oh, you in for a treat tonight, okay. <laughs> All right, so. The next round is talent, and up first is Mr. Showstopper, and he is going to give you a rendition of Shakespeare through High School Musical. So, let's see it. All right, all right, all right. Quick show of hands, how many of you absolutely hated Shakespeare when you were in high school? Good amount of you. All right, let's see if this pretty much summed up your high school experience. Crossing through the stars Maybe she's his own 
Stopper. Very nice. Very nice. Doesn't that take you back? Who does everyone remember like knowing all the words to High School Musical? Like every single word. It came on rerun after rerun after rerun. It was just forever. All right. Who's up next? Our next contender is, is Mr. Manimo. Yeah. <laughs> 
What a magical recorder he has. Wow. <laughs> that is something else. Look at, look at that, look at that face. Wow. <laughs> oh boy. He's hotter than he mine. He is something for sure, else. For sure. <laughs> Up next is a dance number. And this is not just any dance number. It's saucy, it's hot, it's passionate. It's Paula, and this is now the salsa.
That was incredible, Paula, for sure. What teamwork. What teamwork, what moves, what passion, what everything. This floor is hot. It, do, you, do you feel it? I feel it. You feel, oh, yeah. I feel it. Mm -hmm. All right. Up next, serenading us with his own guitar and a beautiful song is... Mr. Guitar Hero. Hello. All right, so, uh, can't play Freebird, I'm sorry. Um, I will be singing a, uh, a four chord song for you guys, and if you don't know what that is, it's a bunch of songs uh, compiled with the same chord progression. Um, these are all songs you know, so please feel free to sing along. I'm a pretty bad singer and an even worse guitar player, so I'll, I'll try my best to serenade, but here goes nothing, right? I knew I wouldn't forget you, and so I went and let you blow my mind. Dear future hub wife, here's a few <laughs> things you'll need to know if you want to be my one and only all my life. Dear future wife, here, if you want to get that special love and tell me that I'm beautiful each and every night. Well, open up your mind and see like me, and open up your plans and damn you're free. Look into your eyes, you'll find love, love, love. Listen to the music at the moment, maybe sing with me. I love peaceful melody. It's your God forsaken right to be love, 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 love. Never mind, I'll find someone like you. I wish nothing but the best. Sometimes it lasts in love, but sometimes it hurts instead. Sometimes it lasts in love, but sometimes it hurts instead. Just a small town girl living in a lonely world. She took the midnight train going anywhere. She's just a city boy. South Detroit, he took the midnight train going anywhere. A singer in a smoky room, keep the snow white and she perfume. For a smile they can share the night, it goes on and on and on and on. I came in like a wrecking ball, I never knew <laughs> All you ever did was break me, yeah, you, you wreck me, let it go, let it go, and I'll rise like the break of dawn, let it go, let it go, that perfect girl is gone, here I stand in the light of bothered me anyway. It's kind of sad that all of our favorite songs have the same four chords in it. Like, kind there of was a lot of favorites we had today. Uh, every single one of them I knew pretty, pretty, pretty well. <laughs> Stuttering a little bit. <laughs> okay. What do we have next? Up next to the stage is Mr. S. P. Mm -hmm. P. Yeah. Don't say.
What's up, everybody? That's what I like to hear. That's what I like to hear. So what we're going to do for you now, we're just going to make sure we get the sounds, but what we're going to do for you now is going to take my four years of ninja training and turn that into live music, freestyle music. What that means for all you people is we are making the music right now. This is not pre-recorded. You might hear a beat or two, but we are making the music as we go. Let me introduce you to my DJ. Jim, he's gone. See what you see? You hear that? That's the called the electro skip. So what we're gonna do is he's gonna loop the music. We're gonna get through. We're gonna put on a show for you. So we're gonna have to let's go.
These spiders are knocking each other out of the ring. There is so much talent on this floor. For sure, for sure. Who's next? We have, last but not least. Certainly not least. Definitely not least. Mr. Rapunzel. Rapunzel. And I'm still in the murder business, I can hold you down like I'm giving lessons in physics, right? You should want a bad chick like this, drop it low and pick it up just like this, uh. Cup of Ace, cup of Goose, cup of Chris, high heels, something worth a half a ticket on my wrist. Taking over liquor straight, never chase that. Rooftop like we're bringing 88 back, what? Bring the hooks in where the bass at. Champagne spilling, you should taste that. I'm so fancy. You already know I'm in the fast lane From LA to Tokyo I'm so fancy Can't you taste this gold? Remember my name about to blow I said, baby, I do this I thought that you knew this Can't stand no haters And honest, the truth is And my flow just started They speak it to party Swagger, I'm stupid I can't shop in no department To get my money on time But to get my money decline I swear I get that That's so much You get that line I rewind Get my money on time But to get my money decline Just can't worry about no haters Gotta stay on my grind Now tell me who dat, who dat That do that, do that Put that paper over all I thought you knew that, knew that I'll be the J-A-C-O-B Put my name in bold I've been working now by me With some change to throw I'm so fancy You already know I'm in the fast lane From LA to Tokyo I'm so fancy can't you taste this gold? Remember my name about to blow. Whoa, whoa. Trash the hotel. Let's get drunk on the mini bar. Make the phone call. Feels so good getting what I want. Yeah, keep on turning it up. Chandel is swinging. We don't give a what. Bill, stop. Yeah, I'm deluxe. Classic, expensive. You don't get to touch. Ow! Thanks, still stunned how you love that Got the whole world asking how I does that Hot girl, hands off, don't touch that Look at that, I bet you wishing you can clutch that Thanks, just the way you like it, huh? Feels so good, he just wishing he can bite it, huh? Never turn down nothing Slaying these girls, go trigger on the run Like I'm so fancy You already know I'm in the fast lane from LA to Tokyo, I'm so fancy. Can't you taste this gold? Remember my name, about to blow. Whoa, whoa. Who dat? Who dat? J A C O B. That do that, do that. J A C O B, right? Who dat? Who dat? J A C O B. Uh, yeah. One more time, I said now. Who dat? Who dat? J A C O B. That do that, do that. J A C O B, right? Who dat? Who dat? J A C O B. They are cutthroat out on this ring, Ronnie. Oh my God. That's not my first question. I'm really concerned about what he puts in his hair. Definitely. What type of conditioner <laughs> does he that use? That is some fine. <laughs> Maybe it's Maybelline. <laughs> okay. So what now it's just my time for my favorite part of Mr. Canisius is the confessional video where we get to find out what the fighters think about each other and what they don't think about each other. So. We'll see. Let's see it. Here we go. My name is Connor Shea. I am Mr. Showstopper, and I will be representing Little Theater and the Crescendons. Uh, my name is Andrew Shapiria, and I am Mr. Guitar Hero, and I am representing C Block. I'm Jacob Dukley. I'm Mr. Rapunzel. I'm representing Little Theater and Canisius Film Society. My name is Paula Ruberock. Um, my Mr. Canisius name is Mr. First Lady, and I am representing Unity. Uh, my name is Lee Lockler, and I am representing SPB, and my Mr. Canisius name is Mr. SPB Yonsei. 
Hi, I'm Rashawn Pope, president of the Canisius College Hip Hop Dance Crew, AKA Mr. Renaissance Man, AKA Chocolate, AKA Chosen One, AKA whatever you want it to be. I'm Mike Haar. Um, I am representing the Canisius Zoological Society, and my Mr. Name is Mr. Manimal. Roshan is one of them. He's, a, he's practically a professional dancer. One of the worst, I don't think, I don't actually think there is a worse dancer. I mean, they all have their uniqueness to them, so. Well, um, obviously the best is Rashawn. I mean, just look at him, like that's pretty much it. Um, worst, uh, Connor Shea's a dad. He's like a dad dancer, so. Ah, the best dancer is, ooh, that's easy, Jacob. Slay my brother, slay. The worst, probably, probably Mike. Definitely, yeah, definitely Mike. Um, I would have to say Lee was the best dancer, also Jacob. Very impressed with both of them. I feel like the best dancers would have to be me, Rashawn, and surprisingly Jacob. Um, the worst dancers would have to be, a t it would have to be a tie between Mike and Andrew. Like they're both at that awkward height in their life where like they don't work out very well. Best answer, that's not even a question, Rashawn. Best dancer I would say would probably be Paula. She's a low key dancer because you know what? She doesn't show everybody what she can do and that is scary as ever. I've danced with her before. When she brings the salsa and bachata in, oh, it's over. It's over, I can't even beat that. Lee is something else, quite honestly. I'm telling you the truth. Uh, I have never gone to so many practices where I had to see a man twerking that much <laughs> all the time. Worst dancers, I don't like drawing shade really, but Mr. Manimal is my man and everything, but have you seen his arms when he just go flailing just like this and I feel like my biggest competition is Jacob. I mean, we're both representing the same club, so I'm sorry to say, brother, but gotta go. Gotta go, man. Gotta go right now. I would say Connor Shea, because we're both in crescendos and we're both in Little Theater, so it's like, it's a little bit of like a sibling rivalry, you know? Um, so I'd say Connor Shea. Lee. Jacob is very dangerous because he has a very, very big fan club. You just don't know it yet. But when he goes out there and does what he does, everybody's going to start screaming. And also, Paul's got a lot of style. So I'll say they were on my top two. Hmm. I feel my biggest competition is Rashawn. Like, he has really good talent, and he has a lot to bring to the show. And like he's the only other black guy. So. <laughs> I had that on me, but now I don't anymore. Um, I want to say Lee. Uh, it just because of the, the energy that he has, he's representing another big club on campus. Um, he's also very, very popular uh, through campus. Um, he's got a lot of talent as well. Um, so I think he's one of my biggest competitions. Everybody on stage. <laughs> So yes, Lee would definitely be the Kim Kardashian of Mr. Pecious. He's extremely sassy and bosses everyone around, and he thinks he's the boss, but he's really not, so. Lee. The Kim Kardashian of the group is Lee. Have you seen dead ass, though? Like, it's everywhere, it's all over the stage. It's, it's 100% Lee. Kim, oh, Lee. I have to go with Lee. He's. He's a wonderful drama queen, and I love him, but he, he is all, he's a diva. I feel the Kim Kardashian group might be me only on occasion. I hardly ever complain. Um, when I do complain, it's for legitimate reasons, like the temperature is not at the right level, or the door wasn't open when I walked in, kind of things like that, just legitimate issues that I complain about. Most energy, also Lee. Lee is really taking the crown here. 
I definitely think I bring a lot of energy to the group, but if we're talking energy as in sass, it's gotta be Lee. Mike, he is off the wall. He, he's insane in a good way. The most energy would be Connor, but he doesn't use it constructively. It's just like <laughs> off the wall energy for no reason. Connor, Connor for sure can uh, bring it all the time. Connor and Lee, they have the most energy. Ooh, see, that's a tough question, because you see, when you add a Connor with a Lee, that is a very volatile mix. Every time you see a practice between those two, it's just always, get out of my face, get out of my face, don't do this, Connor, get out of my face, Lee, or would you stop twerking on me every day? Oh. The best hair would have to be Jacob. Like, when I see his hair, it's like kind of like cat and candy. You know how like, he just want to take a big munch of it? That's what I see when I look at his hair. Ooh, easy. Jacob, that flow, that flow dough. Jacob, Mr. Rapunzel. It's uh, Jacob. It's like he uses horse and mane on that thing. <laughs> Jacob. Jacob. For the crown, well, I'm already in it again, so that's already a, a first start. Um, another thing I'd probably do is uh, probably drag some bodies across the Asian, like, oops, sorry, they're not here. I can't do anything. Something pretty crazy, I would say. <laughs> I would probably murder, I'm just kidding, I can't say that. <laughs> oh, what would I do for the crown? Oh, well, I would, um, I'll dance for the crown, I'll rap for the crown, I'll lip sync for the crown. I can do anything you want me to. Well, some of the things I would do would probably send me to jail, but I don't understand the question. <laughs> I really don't. What would I do for the crown? It's like, what would I do for a, a Klondike bar, you know? Like. <laughs> Most improved would be Mike, Mr. Manimal. Most improved I'd definitely say is Andrew, because I remember talking to him initially, came in saying that I don't have much, and like he's come a very long way from like that little from that little time gap. I think that he definitely has proved himself worthy of the of the crown. Not before me though. The most improved would have to be Andrew. Because I remember when we first started dancing, he had no rhythm. He still doesn't have rhythm, don't get me wrong. But like it's not as bad as it was in the beginning. I would say Manimal, most improved. You just don't sleep on him. He, his laugh is infectious as ever. You can't have a practice without laughing around this guy. Do you have a mirror? <laughs> the best humor? I'd have to argue myself. No one else really likes to laugh at my jokes, but you know. If we're talking dad jokes, it's, it's gotta be me. But if we're talking humor in general, it's probably Jacob. The best humor, surprisingly, was Mike. I've never like interacted with him outside of Ms. Canisius. Like we're in the same graduating class and he's a ginger that I see on campus. But <laughs> other than that, I, we never interacted. So like when he finally got here and he would like talk and like say jokes, it's like pretty legit. He's it's, like funny. Um, and Andrew's a really funny guy. Who has the best, Manimal. Manimal has the best humor. Everyone's really funny and everyone's like super crazy, so. I gotta say all of them. They all always have something funny to say, something quirky or sassy to say, so I think all of them have a great humor. Yeah! <laughs> 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 Lee, um, he just like, he's about to snatch someone, you know, he, 
he goes crazy. He's insane. Lee's habit of just bossing everyone around really agitates me sometimes. I sit really funny on stage, <laughs> and people have called me out. Apparently, uh, it's a thing. I can. So like this, and I'm just, you know, I'm kicking back, I'm cool. They say it looks like I'm, you know, taking a poop, but whatever, I'm comfy. Rashawn is like mostly like, he's always tired. <laughs> so he's always saying that he's tired always. Um, so yeah, maybe Rashawn, but it's not too bad. Probably leave with the twerking or grinding on everybody. It just like, just comes up in your face and just does all of this and, uh, sorry, PG-13, but. I feel like we're all annoying. So we're just a group of annoying guys. Oh, in the wise words of NSYNC, it's gonna be May. Hope in the sky. Well, me, of course. If I had to say someone that would win, I would have to say Jacob. Um, if not Jacob, Rashawn. Because, like, both of their talents and lip syncs are pretty awesome. Hopefully, me. Um, that, is, that would be the best outcome, but who do I think will win? I think Connor has a very good chance of winning, uh, as well as Lee will be most likely to win as well. Um, I think it's gonna be a seven-way tie, and I feel like we're all just gonna lose, and then um, they're just gonna bring in seven puppies and just restart the entire show. <laughs> that you get a little peek on the inside of what they were thinking throughout their rehearsals and everything? I was focused on the puppies. <laughs> okay. Okay, I know you guys are a little tired. It's a little dark in here, a little nappy. Who wants a t-shirt? Who didn't pay for a t-shirt already? We're gonna need louder, okay. we're gonna need way louder. Stand up way louder. A Everybody pay. Get it. Everybody's gonna need to scream. Everybody's right, gonna scream. need to scream. Whatever sucks. I want louder! I want louder! We're gonna have to give it one more time. Get louder, I need to hear more. Stand up! If you want a t-shirt, stand up. You better stand up. We got a t-shirt, we got a t-shirt. There you go, there you go, okay. What about this side? It was a little quiet. How about this side? I do not hear this side loud enough. Definitely not. I need to hear it more. Yes. I need to hear, it. oh, this is so. You want it? Come on, I want to hear it louder. Everybody up. Everybody want to hear it loud. Wow, we are losing air. We're really losing there. Mick, this is not good. This is not good, Mick. Okay, yes. Kia, I hear you, Kia. You ready, Kia? I don't Kia, have the arm up. anymore. Kia. You ready, Kia? Yeah. She better catch it. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I love you too. Okay, now is the time we've all been waiting for. Will the fighters please come to the ring? Will the fighters please come to the ring? Another round of a hand for all of our really incredible of applause. Come on, a little louder for our people. Okay, this is our first elimination round. We are gonna lose two. Two people, two people. That means that we're gonna keep five. Now is the time we have all been waiting for. There are five photos in my hand. <laughs> the two names that I do not call must immediately pack their bags and go home. The first name, in no particular order, is Mr. Manimal. Very nice, very nice. 
her. The next name is, go ahead. Mr. Renaissance Man. The third name is Mr. S.P. Beyonce. All right. Our next name is Mr. Guitar Hero! Yeah. All right, Sydney, who do we got next? Okay. I have one photo in my hand. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. The other two names <laughs> that are not called must immediately pack their bags and go home. The final name is Mr. Rapunzel! Yes! Thank you so much, Mr. First Lady, and thank you so much, Mr. Congeniality. You guys had a beautiful performance. We love you so much. Thank you. Will the fighters please leave the stage? Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. All right. After this, we'd like to have a word from our sponsors. Ugh, guys, it's not there yet. Do it again. It's two o'clock in the morning. We did this for 60 My times. My yams are burning. I don't want to do this anymore. Come on. You know what? I know what you guys need. I know you did not just bump into me. Get out of my way, Connor! Oh, excuse me. I didn't know that the qualification for Mr. Kinesis was two left feet! You know what? I'm so sick and tired of you. Jacob, eat a Snickers. Why? Because you get into a sassy diva when you're hungry. Better? Better. If you guys know, but we have Mr. Kanishas from 2015 sitting right up here. <laughs> Mr. Andy Puente, can you stand up, Andy, just so everyone gets to see you? So, Andy, let me get on this side of you. What do you think of this show so far? Well, it's great. I just like to let everyone. I'm third wheeling this couple here, and I think that four seats, four seats is enough. Just everyone else. Okay. So are you, who's feeling a little cranky right now? Because I have an extra Snickers bar. Where's your Snickers? What? <laughs> Sydney. Whoo. Wow. <laughs> you better grab it. <laughs> Jonah And hold okay. on to it. All right, it's yours. So our next round is Megan's favorite, the lip sync. First up to the stage, Mr. Manimal. Hello, it's me. I was wondering if after all these years you'd like to me to go over. Everything they say the time's supposed to heal you, but I ain't done much healing. Hello from the other side. I must have called a thousand times to tell you I'm sorry for everything that I've done, but when I call you. Ripping them apart on this 
floor. I just can't. All right. Up next is who? Mr. Guitar Hero. Let's hear it. Flowers to the judges, Dr. Moscow. I see that. Okay. Getting involved with the crowd. All right. He's so nice. Up next is Mr. SP Beyonce. Here we go. History in the making. Part two. So crazy right now. I look at this so deep in your eyes. I touch on you more and more every time. When you leave, I'm begging you not to go. Call your name two, three times in a row. Such a funny thing for me to try to explain. And my pride is the one to blame yeah, Cause yeah. I know I don't understand Just how your love can do and no one else can Coming looking so crazy right No, no. He had that. Who was feeling Beyonce up in this house? <laughs> Woo! Yes, yes, okay. Up next to the stage is someone who not only rhymes, who has broken the dance floor. Many times. But he is. Mr. Renaissance Man. It's lit and I'm about to go boom Mercy, mercy, mercy me oh, My life was a cage but on stage I'm free Hyped up, psyched up, ready for wildin' Standing in a crowd of girls like an island I see the one I wanna sit, come here cutie I flip her around and then I work that booty Work the body, work, work the body Slow down girl, you're about to hurt somebody Hold up yo, let's get just one thing clear There's only one reason why I came here You women don't want me to give it, give it, tell you what's up yeah. He shook the room. Go ahead, Mr. Renaissance Man. Next up is, I don't know where my co-host went, but next up is Mr. Rapunzel.
They are slaying each other up in her, right? Okay. So, who's here for Mr. Manimo? Let's see, let's see. Who's here for Mr. Manimo? <laughs> There's someone, is his mother in the crowd somewhere? Mike's her mom. Miss, can you please stand up, please? I'm gonna. <laughs> how, do you, how do you feel about your son's performance tonight? Oh, he's quite unique. <laughs> what you mean? Does he have a chance? He's got a great chance. Let's hear it again for Mr. Manimal, everyone. Woo! Woo! Great job. Who's here for Mr. Guitar Hero up on the balcony? All right, the Rowdy Group. Yes! Mr. Guitar Hero. Great job. Y'all should have got here earlier. Y'all will be down here. <laughs> All right. Who's here for Mr. SPB on set? All the lovers. Yes. Who's here for Mr. Renaissance Man? Go ahead, show. I see you, girl. All right, and finally, who's here for Mr. Rapunzel? Perfect, perfect. So, my favorite part of the show now is the pickup lines. But. We're gonna do a really quick thing first. Oh yeah, go ahead, Ronnie, what's up? Thanks, Sid. I got you, I'm sorry. We're gonna do really quick. We're gonna collect all the ballots that you have. Oh yeah. Do not forget about your ballots. Please now start to vote for Mr. King. It's Kingdom. all about likability. This your is Your friends. Who, yes. Your people. Put the name on the ballot. Whoever you repping for, vote for them now. If you're not repping anyone, vote for the most likable candidate. Hand it over. Or the most entertaining candidate. And hand can it you over please to your left then if you hand can. them to the center aisles and there'll be people that are there to pick them up for me. Fill out your ballot, hand it up to the left. Okay, while we are doing that, I would like to introduce the next round. A Kenesha's favorite. A Kenesha's favorite. Escorted by Mr. Congeniality 2014, Alex Turbrady. Turbrady. Yeah. Come on, Alex, come on, Ann. Yes, look at them. She is coming in on a cart because she wants it. Now, the way pickup lines are judged is this. We are looking for lovely, beautiful, talented, famous people. And what's cool about it is we're going to have two rounds of questions. So can the five remaining contestants please come to the stage? The five remaining fighters please come to the stage. How are you feeling, Ann? Here we go. Let's hear it for our fighters. Woo. The finalists have brought their coaches up here for some last minute tips so that they can win this round. How you feel it in going into it? Oh, I'm excited. I want to hear what they have to say. Are you ready to melt? I am. My heart is ready. Her heart is ready. Okay. First up to the stage is Mr. Manuel. Give it your best shot, Mr. Manimal. Let's hear you what you got. Woo! Hey there, Ann. Now, I'm hoping somebody in this audience right now is dialing animal control, because I'm looking at a fox. Uh -huh. <laughs> Woo! Oh, boy! Uh. That was, oh, boy. That was pretty good. Oh, boy. We better be careful. We better be careful of I, you. I was feeling it. And up next. Mr. Guitar Hero, bring it to the stage. Lay All right, it Andrew. Down. Lay it down. For Let's me. hear what you got. Does my hair look good? Go ahead, boy. I'm sorry. Uh, did, did you just fart? Because you blew me away. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, wow. Man, that is a crowd pleaser. That, that is. <laughs> You gotta coming. use that one, everybody. All right, who's next, Ronnie? We got SP Beyonce. What is your pickup line? He's about to bring that fierceness oh to the stage. Uh oh, that's oh, a little close. The Out of all the single ladies, you're the only one I want to put a ring on it. Uh, oh no, he don't. Oh my god. Oh my god. He put we a ring on proposed. it. Show them the ring and show them that bling. Oh, look at yeah. that rock. Oh, hell yeah. Wow. All right. <laughs> Last is Mr. 
Repli Renaissance man, sorry, that's not last. Second to last, Mr. Come Renaissance. Come on, Renaissance man, let's see what you got. Be forward. Not the two forward, not two forward. Mm, that's right, that's right. Mr. Hey, beautiful. On a scale of one to America, how free are you today? <laughs> <laughs> Land of the free. God, I love it. Dang. All right. <laughs> yeah. Mr. Rapunzel, what you got for Come her? on, let's hear what you got. Let's hear what you got, Mr. Rapunzel. Be gentle. Excuse me, are you from Ireland? Because every time I look at you, my heart beats Dublin. Ooh, an international joke. I don't know, these boys sound pretty sweet. What do you think, Aunt? I know, I, I'm, I'm lucky my boyfriend isn't here. She's looking at her boyfriend as he hear y'all hear that? Because he will whoop y'all. <laughs> All right. Up again is Mr. Manimal. Oh, All right, Manimal, round two. Don't screw it up. Don't screw it up, man. Now, Anne, I'm going to treat you just like I treat my milk. Oh, my God. I'll spoil you. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing. watch out for Mr. Manimal. All them single ladies out there. Oh, man. Oh, man. All right. Mr. Guitar Hero, you better pluck them strings over here, boy. Watch out for the spoiled milk. <laughs> hey, Ann. Did you, ever, uh, did you ever read Dr. Seuss when you were little? Cause you're green eggs and damn. Oh my God! Oh my God! <laughs> Mr. Guitar Hero, you green, crazy. green eggs and damn. You are crazy, Mr. Guitar Hero. That, that was a good one. All right, who do we got next? Who do we got next, Sid? We got Mr. SP Beyonce bringing the fierceness back to the stage. Come on, let's see if you can make her panties drop. That's too far, the goal. Too far. <laughs> Girls may run the world, but you're the only one I want in mind. Oh my God. That's cute. That was so nice. That is so cute. That is just so, so cute. Oh my God. All right, who's next? We got Mr. Renaissance Man. Come on up. Round two. Are you Come on. Good? All right, let's hear it. Let's hear it. You know, Father Lynch told me this once. He told me to keep my mind on everything that is beautiful and lovely in the world. And now I can't get you out of my mind. Here we go. Here we go. We have a lot of honest guys up here. Wow. Sid, I'll take the next one, I guess. Yeah, I'm speechless, yo. <laughs> I'm speechless. <laughs> All right, up next to the stage, we have Mr. Rapunzel. Here we go. OK, OK. You gotta do it. It's all on you. Let's get it. Is your body McDonald's? Because I'm loving it. Wow! Ba da ba ba ba! <laughs> yes! Yeah. How you feeling, Ann? I don't know. I'm like a little flustered right now. Like... Oh, girl, I feel you. I feel you. Is there anyone that you would pick right now? Oh, I don't know. They were all really good. They were all really good. Thank you so much, Anne, for being such a great sport. You're beautiful. And thank you, contestants. You may go back to the back of the stage. Here's a bouquet of flowers for you, Anne. Thank you, thank Anne. You so all right, ladies and gentlemen. Now it's time for the spotlight to turn on you. Who here yes. don't, doesn't think? Who here knows they can wobble? Who, if you know you can wobble, get up. I know all my OLs. Vince, come up to the stage. Jonah, come up to the stage. Who else can wobble? Oh. It's time to get up on Let's stage. Get up. Oh. Get up. Get up. You got if you are not up on stage, you can get in your seat. Get up, you got it. And you can wobble yeah. your butt up. All the shorties in the club. Let me see now. You know it. You know it. That's right. Jonah. Yeah. 
shaking they boobies like Congo. Man, That's I'm it. shaking That's the nice. city like quake. Yeah. Yeah. The haters blow in the face. You better yeah. get it. Yeah. 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 I'm taking the game, the game's mine. Yeah, I witness the change, it's my time. Yeah, I'm new to the game, but y'all might want to say you wake up, grab stay light, save the time. I can dance. Go ahead, Darby. Y'all see the noodle? Y'all looking at something like a true player. Get it, Kia. Man, that could dance, might could possibly get down. Let's get it, y'all. Let's get it. Woo! Ladies, let me see it vibrate. And when it's over, you ain't gonna need your bow. Cause I'm a pro, make you bend your back low. Go ahead, Greg. Go ahead, Greg. Go ahead, Greg. Go ahead, Greg. Fourteen, right? All right. How do you feel about tonight? And you were host last year. How do you feel about tonight? I'm really sweaty. Me too. Can you see? I can smell it. <laughs> wow. Yeah, you take that back. 
it smells like love. I know, I know. All right, so listen, how are you feeling about tonight? The contestants, who do you think is going to win? Uh, I got a really strong feeling about my car. Um, we got some love for my car out here. He's got some really great deadpan humor that I feel steps up the game a lot. He's a handsome little boy, yes. <laughs> little boy indeed. That hair's on fire. Little boy indeed. Perfect. All right, thank you so much. Let's get some re reactions from the audience. Gina, how are you feeling about tonight? Feeling great. Feeling great. <laughs> well, who do you think is going to win you? Oh, it's so hard to tell. They're all just so great. So great. <laughs> what you doing, boo? How you doing, sexy? How do you feel about tonight? I'm loving every minute of it. Really? Even my part? So. All right, listen, who do you think is going to win? I mean, you know, I'm here for my girl, Paula. Um, but, but, so many great contestants, and you know, Lee's just killing it up there. Lee is Lee. killing it. Who here is for Lee? <laughs> yes, yeah. All right, Sid, are we ready to rock? One second, let's ask this gentleman. Sir, how are you feeling about tonight? All right, Lee. Mr. Mammal. <laughs> Yes! Are you his Wait, are you his grandpa? Why, certainly. Does he get his dance moves from you? No, I don't, because I don't walk. Ah. <laughs> but you, can you at least tap your foot? Pardon? Can it's you okay. at least tap your foot, like a foot tap? Certainly. Why, certainly, he had that part down, y'all, okay. All right, will the remaining five contestants please come to the stage? Please come to the stage. Give it up for your five contestants. We got a lot of winners up here. We got people who want it. Everybody's ready. Look at how well they are dressed. Yes. Right. So, again, the moment we've all been waiting for. I have three photos in my hand. The two names that I do not call must immediately pack their bags and go home. The first name in no particular order. Okay, can y'all be quiet? Yeah. <laughs> Let's start again. The first name. In no particular order. Is. Mr. Rapunzel. Get on up in the stage. Yes. 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 Sir. All right. All right. Next. We have Mr. Renaissance Man. There is a final name in my hands. If I do not call the other two's name, it does not mean you're untalented. It means you are great and we love you very, very much. The final name in my hands is all right, say, I, we, I love you too, Andrew. All right. Is Mr. SP Beyonce. Thank you so much, Mr. Manimo. Thank you so much, Mr. Guitar Hero. Thank you, Mike. Thank you, guys you had Andrew. You really right run. Thank you so much. We really appreciate you. We love you. Thank you. Give a round of applause. Give it up. All right. All right. The next part of our competition. We have the questions Q and answers. Q and A. Each of you will be given two questions to answer. Different for each, and you will all have a minute to answer. If you take longer than a minute, the microphone will be removed from your hands and given to the next contestant. Serious faces. Serious all right. faces. The first question to you, Mr. Renaissance Man. Where do you see yourself in 10 years? Ooh. I came here to become a leader. That's what Canisius is what taught me, to be a leader, to be better for others, to be better for all my friends. I will travel the world, learn languages, bring the world together. That's what this meant. That's what meant being Mr. Renaissance, to bring different aspects of life together. And I will come back to Buffalo, and I will bring something back to you. Business, culture, recreation, everybody will be uplifted as the best that I can. And I will not guarantee everything, but I will fight my hardest to do so. 
Thank you so much, Mr. Renes. We saw that fight tonight. All right. Mr. SP Beyonce, what motivates you? What motivates me? <laughs> what, what motivates you? Tell what me. motivates me is the love and church that I see from my friends. I'm not from Buffalo, but I have experienced a family here. And I think that is what motivates me the most because without them, I won't be where I am today. That was a beautiful answer. Mr. Rapunzel, what is the best piece of advice you have ever received in your life? And who gave it to you? Um, the best piece of advice I've ever received in my life is, it's pretty simple, it's corny, but it's be yourself. And I've learned that from my mom. Um, she's, she's right there in Stand the red. Up. Yes, Stand Lynn. Up. Yes. yes. Be yourself, mom. Be yourself. Yeah, she's my best friend. She's taught me so much about life and how unpredictable it is. And just be yourself, go out there, show the world what you got and who you are, and be the person that you want to be. Thank you. Thank you, mom, for sure. Who, who here is a mom in the audience? Can all moms raise their hand? Let's give a round of applause for all the moms in the audience. Woo! Yes, definitely. All right, on to our next round of questions, Mr. Renaissance Man. Are you ready? That's not the question. You better slow down. Mm -mm. What is your ideal first date? Ooh. My ideal first date. All right. My ideal first date sounds kind of corny, but I like to get a good talk, spend the night with a person, not sexually, just conversing. <laughs> it's all about conversing, speaking to get to know them. We're gonna go out to as many places she wants, many places we want, not care about the money. It's all about the fun and the love. We're gonna build it up. You know how it goes, girl. It's all about the love. So ladies, if you ever get to know me, I might look evil and angry, but trust me, I have a soft heart. I love the co good company, and you're gonna have a good time with me no matter what else you might this think. This is not an advertisement, Rashawn, okay? We all run with it anyway, okay? What's the second question, Ronnie? All right, Mr. S.P. Beyonce. What is, I'm sorry, if you could have a dinner with one celebrity. Oh. <laughs> Give me a minute. Who would it be and why? <laughs> well, <laughs> obviously it would be with Beyonce. Beyonce is queen, and I know we will be eating dinner on a private jet over the ocean, headed to a beautiful, magnificent place like Haiti. Yeah, that's a good place. Okay, all right. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Mr. Rapunzel, what would you do with a million dollars? What I would do for a million dollars is what? with, what did I say? Not four. <laughs> Can he answer both? <laughs> um, let me start over. What I would do with a million dollars is I would give, obviously, I would give it to charity. I am um, here for the Western New York um, Veteran Housing Coalition. My grandpa's a veteran, my uncle's a veteran, and I would just like love to support that. And um, I would definitely give some to my family. They've been so supportive of me and my wild, crazy antics and dreams throughout the past 20 years of my life. Um, I would spend some on myself, hey, you know what I mean? Get it, yeah. But I know a million dollars can't change the world, but it's gonna definitely help. Thank you. Thank you. Those are great. Please return backstage, contestants, for the final count. Thank you so much. All right, judges. How judges, you guys what do you feeling think? about tonight? It's kind of tough, right? Tough? How do you feel? Go ahead. I was expecting more pandering to the judges, which I did not receive. 
Lee was the only one to show give some me love. Something. Dr. Masco got a flower. I, I take bribes. Just to oh. let them know. <laughs> and um, my car still owes me a paper from a couple of years ago. If he could get that to me. <laughs> How about you, Dr. Bakker? How are you feeling? Uh, these students are so quiet in history class. Um, <laughs> this is a completely different side of them, and it's been a great, great deal of fun. Good, good. How about you, Dr. Avis? Your son is up here, busting Dad. behind, doing the <laughs> Tell me what you think. <laughs> Nothing but love. <laughs> what is that? Nothing but love, of course he said Nothing that. Nothing but love. Of Nothing course he said love. that. Wait, wait, we couldn't hear him. Hold on. Nothing but love. <laughs> <laughs> How about you, Professor O'Neill? How do you feel about tonight? Wow, just, I mean, talent in so many directions. Um, I'm, I'm actually, I, I feel sad. I feel for Connor and Manimal. I feel for these, uh, these, men, these men that are, aren't out on the stage. I guess that's where my, my heart is right now, is, uh, is with those guys. Great job. Thank you so much. Okay, so how'd you guys feel about Mr. Kanisha's 2016, the final round? How are we feeling? Perfect, okay. We're coming to the moment we've all been waiting for to crown Mr. Kanisha's 2016. How do you guys feel for Paula being the first female contestant ever in Mr. Kanisha's history? <laughs> I think that was completely brave of her. It was so brave of her. She broke the mold. There's going to be so many girls next year who didn't think they would have even had the chance for Mr. Kanisha's that will now come out, show their stuff, and maybe win. Are we ready yet? Or... Are we ready? Not I don't yet? think so. Okay. So, do you guys still have energy in you or are you guys kind of sleep? Because it sounds kind of sleep. You guys sleep? Do we have any music, Rich, that we can play? Like, we can have a little, like, dance music part right here? The wave? Are you guys even feeling the wave? You guys look so damn tired. <laughs> are you guys going to feel the wave? I'm not about to do it by myself. You guys going to do the wave? Woo! Woo! Okay, let's start. Ronnie, get your side. All right, we're going to start on this side. All right, we're going to get this. Everybody get their hands up. Two hands in front of you. Just like oh, this. Yeah. We're gonna start right here. They, and we're gonna bring this wave all the way up to the right. Okay, all the are way you ready up. with me? If you embarrass your side, y'all don't get nothing for free because we got some free stuff backstage. <laughs> all right. That includes people in the top of the balcony. Right That's right, get with it. All right, here we go. Here we go. One, two, three. Everybody put their hands up. That's very nice, very nice, very nice, very nice, very nice, very nice. Very nice. No, okay. no, 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 no. You didn't think it was good? My side held up oh, inside. Oh, no, no, no. We standing up here. You want, to, you want them to Y'all been sitting the whole stage, and this is the whole time. This Y'all better get up. Thank you, show. Whatever Thank Sid you. says, Let's everybody start stand again. up. Let's start again. Everybody stand balcony. up for two seconds. You've been rowdy all night. Ready, you stand. Set, go. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, good. yes. Yes, y'all good. Yes, that was very nice. Okay, yes. That was really good. That was really, really good. Now, do we have any music? All right, I'm about to sing for y'all. Uh -huh. What? All right, here it is, here it is. What, who's here? What's, what song, a church song or like a sexual song? Make it sexual. Sing it, Sid, sing it. Who's here for church? We want church? Who's here for sensual? We want to set you out. All right, let's snap, let's snap. Snap, snap, snap. Oh, let me get the Give it's the spotlight. Home, baby, let's get lost. You need to call in to work because you're the boss. Y'all know the song. For real, baby, show you how you feel. I can sit in myself. Lucky that's a big deal. Why? Well, you got the keys to my heart, but you ain't gonna need it. I'd rather you open in my body and tell me secrets. You didn't know what's inside. No need for me to lie. It's too big, it's too wide, it's too strong, it won't fit, it's too much, it's too tough. I walk like this cause I can back it up, I gotta be uh -huh. such a huge, <laughs> he love my beer, it's true, I walk like this cause I can back it up. I would have came in better voice if I wasn't screaming the whole show. <laughs> wow. All right, so we're ready for- We have the results. Can the final, all the contestants come back to the stage? All 
seven of you, please Back return to, to the front of the stage. Before we announce the winner, can we hear it for all seven contestants just one more time? Give it up! Congeniality. Who is that, Ronnie? Give it up for Mr. Manimo! Yes! Get in front of that stage! Own it! And prepare for you, kid! Take a bow. From the bottom, now we're here. Rio recognizes Rio, Mike Hart. <laughs> Will the final three contestants please step forward to the X on the stage, please? Third place goes to Mr. SP Beyonce. <laughs> Give it up! Yes! Is Mr. Mr. This doesn't fit my head, it's really large. I have bumps here. Um, thank you guys so much. I'd love to thank um, Little Theater, Crescendo, Canisius Film Society, um, RHA, are you kidding me? Like, this is student run, give them a round of applause, please. Yes. I'd love to thank um, the six contestants, um, my co-chair slash mom, Rachel, and Paula. We made our own Mr. Kanisha's family. Um, I'm donating half of the funds to um, Western New York Veteran Housing Coalition, as I said before. Um, the other half goes to Campus Ministry, support service immersion trips. Yes, Jamaica, M-A-I-C-A. Thank you guys so much, you've been really great. All right, I'm gonna leave. Thank you so much, Mr. Kenesha 2016. Everyone have a safe trip home and come back next year. Head on this wobble, you know serving me's a no no. Clean as a whistle as I pull out in my rose race. Give it up. Messenger, they 